Media. Hi, Rachel. Hi. I'm Katie from Bike Club. Nice to meet you. Hi. Come on in. This is B5 Media. This is B5, yeah. B5 Media is kind of like a magazine publishing company, but instead of cranking out paper magazines, we crank out blogs, about 350 or so. Where did B5 begin? There were five bloggers who started the company. Technically, I was the first full-time employee, so it was my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. when someone else joined, it became my basement, because having two of us in my bedroom would have been socially awkward. And then we upgraded to a garage, so garage was actually our third. Stage three was stop. garage. <laughs> so we launched the company in September 05. We had 13 blogs when we launched. We did 100,000 pages our first month, uh, acquired a company our second month, ended the year with 60 blogs doing a million page views, um, and just kind of went, okay, if that's what we can do kind of part-time, let's try and you know, explode this. And so we started raising the capital in May, closed around in October, and ever since, things haven't slowed down. We are like an electronic version of a magazine publishing company. They, you know, ads are their bread and butter, and ads are our bread and butter as well. Well, I was one of the, uh, the investors that Jeremy approached early on. We didn't really know a lot about blogs at that point in time, but thought it was worth the bet. If you play your cards right, you're actually getting paid to be you. Oh, and you yeah. Get to, yeah, you get to do, yeah, you get to do things that are all about you, and suddenly it doesn't feel like work anymore. This seems to be maturing as a company, this seems to be maturing as an industry. Uh, and what we're finding here is a very, very interesting publishing model that, that there were very few players in. Well, I think it's, it's fascinating to just see a faster, cheaper kind of publishing company. Can you give me a little tour? Absolutely. There's milk for the coffee and beer. And salad and dressing. Beer and salad dressing. We like to like my balance the beer with uh, salad. What does Beat by Media do for fun? Well, why don't we show you? Here. Big on the whiteboards, so it could be anything from just brainstorming names or figuring out something with the back-end infrastructure. There's lots of uses for the whiteboard. It also records Darcy's co-worker of the week. I hear you have a co-worker of the week competition. Yes, um, pretty much everybody in the office so far has won it. It's just whoever sucks up to me the most. And Rachel okay. actually has dibs on it till the 24th. She I was actually co-worker of the month, the first and only co-worker of the month. I've gotten her Tim Hortons, I've cleaned up the coffee pot, <laughs> I get the mail every day, and still I'm useless. <laughs> <laughs> Every Friday afternoon we have a brainstorming session. Um, it's not mandatory, but everyone's welcome. And so last Friday, um, we're trying to create a name for our new entertainment portal. And so this is the brainstorming behind it. So it was kind of, you know, what are words you think of in entertainment? What are words you think of in celebrities? What are words you think of for music or movies? So these were kind of common words that were across entertainment, celebs, music, that kind of thing. So because they because we're trying to pull together a bunch of different subjects in one portal, we want to kind of pull out some of the words that work for all of them. So we're rebranding, relaunching the company more as kind of vertical networks. So right now it's one big network. So we're launching like an entertainment brand, an entertainment portal, an entertainment network. Um, so you'll see that kind of stuff happening kind of Q3, Q4. So that's our big project for the year. Darling, you've got to let me know. Should I sleep or should I code? If I sleep, I'll miss the milestone. And if I code, I'll break my head bone. So you gotta let me know. Should I sleep or should I code? Amazing. That's it for Bike Club. We'll see you next time.